Yo, from this day forward, I got a public service announcement. I'm not entertaining no more beef on the internet. I don't got nothing to prove to y'all. I've been talking my shit for five straight months. I still haven't been knocked out. Nobody touched my gangster. All that shit is whack. We doing it for the kids, man. 2018, nothing but positivity. Good vibes, you know what I'm saying? Not letting nobody fuck on my bag. I don't got nothing to prove to y'all. I, all I had to prove, that I could talk my shit. Nobody has done nothing, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that today it ends here, man. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but positivity. The fans love it. The fans, I, I, man, I love all of y'all, man. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. Look, I'll be walking, man. Look. If it wasn't for y'all, this is y'all. This is not me. This is y'all. This belongs to y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? Nothing but positivity, man. Yo, from this day forward, I got a public service announcement. Anybody that fuck with fuckers with paperwork, with rape, child sex charges, you feel me? I find out y'all cool with that. Y'all bump that shit. Y'all fuck with that shit, pass that shit, let that shit slide around me. We're going to have problems. Best believe we're going to have problems. And you know when I say that shit, that shit's for real. That shit gets no pass around me. Motherfuckers say they does it for the kids and this and that. Well, we'll see who does it for the kids, my boy. You don't get no pass out here. Know that. What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button. And shout out to my gang. Gang, gang. Spanky from the Soranos gang. He's telling 6 9 that it's a no-go in California. And 6 9 is headed there in about a week or so. Let's talk about it. Now, 69ers, we got to talk about this. Now, I keep trying to tell you guys, man. I've been telling you since the beginning. And, you know, you guys, you just want to hear what you want to hear. You don't want to hear opinions that are different from yours, right? I told you guys earlier today that this was going to happen. Now, I told you guys earlier today that 6ix9ine wanted to end the Test My Gangster world tour, right? He was done. He felt like he didn't went city to city and nobody tested his gangster. Now, I've always told you guys that the energy that he puts out was going to be the same energy that he got back. We got a guy saying he won't be touched. But in history, we've seen the presidents get touched. We've seen Tupac and Biggie get touched. We've seen mob bosses get touched. But the rainbow headed man believes he can't be touched. Now, unfortunately for 6ix9ine, he doesn't want this energy anymore. But people, after hearing his video, they're still bringing that energy. Now, you guys heard the clip earlier in this video, right? From OG Spanky Loco. He's straight up telling 6ix9ine there is no pass. He goes, tell him he gets no pass. He also went on to show DM messages that he sent to 6ix9ine. And he sent 6ix9ine this article, right, in the DMs. And it shows that 6ix9ine is facing prison time if he does not complete his GED as part of his child sex case. Spanky tells 6ix9ine in the DMs. He goes, damn, what's good, pimp? Say it ain't so, homie. All bad, bruh, bruh. This is a no-go out here in L.A., my boy. Then 6ix9ine responded back with, I'll be there next week. Now, this is not a good look for 6ix9ine. I already told you guys that the blood gang was beefing with 6ix9ine, right? Now, I was thinking that maybe some of the Mexican gangs there, they were going to have his back in California. I'm like, okay, maybe he's going to have support from them. And if he links up with someone that's key in one of those gangs, then he's going to be okay. Well, I'm starting to see little G is taking shots at him, who's with the Mexican mafia. And now OG Spanky's telling him that he has a no pass in L.A., man. I'm being honest when I say this. This is not good. If I'm 6ix9ine right now, I'm trying to link up with some rapper out there that is well-connected in one of these gangs 
that's going to have my back when I'm in enemy territory in Los Angeles trying to collect my bags. What I'm trying to explain to you happens a lot in other cities. Like whenever a rapper goes to Chicago to pick up a bag, they'll usually have one of those dudes from Chirac come there and they have him perform or whatever. They probably give him some money. He brings out his dudes and they're good. Now, unfortunately for 6 9 in this situation, the people in LA, they're very well connected. Like a lot of these dudes, they got OGs. So if the OGs are saying, nah, we're not going to mess with this dude because of his allegations that he's had in the past, or we just don't rock with that kind of stuff because he's making us look weird. This ain't the kind of stuff that we do. Then people are going to have to respect what the OG says. Now, what you guys don't understand, this is real life stuff, man. Okay. If the Mexican mafia tells 6 9 not to come to LA, then he better not come to LA. This is seriously no joke. If 6 9 cannot get some kind of support from one of these gangs, he's going to have to get police support. And I'm not even joking, man. You guys let me know what's in the comment section below, man. Spanky said is a no go. I told you guys that people in California were going to continue to push this situation even after his video. And that's what Spanky did with his video. We'll see what's going to happen, man. Look, I hope that 6ix9ine is going to be okay. I hope that he can put an end to this. But I don't know, man. People are very upset everywhere, man. The Test My Gangster Challenge and World Tour is still on, whether he likes it or not.